Here is a computer. Here is a human. Your human mind. A hu yeah, here is a human. What are their symmetries? Okay, they are both physical subsets of the universe. And as physical subsets of the universe, they also can be placed in many different configurations based off the data they take in and how they process data. Those are the symmetries between minds and computer it's, algorithms. It's obvious. It's obvious. And so given that symmetry, we can start to use our understanding of computers to have an understanding of what it means to be human. And so we link them together using nomenclature without representation. It, it's a different configuration to being the configuration of sad than it is to being the configuration of happy. So each mental state has a physical state, which just this is how we're tying computers and humans to, together using nomenclature without representation. And so anyone can verify these things because if we tell you a secret, you can physically carry that secret, which means that we changed your state. So we've we've I taken two words. We've given their definitions, we've identified the symmetries, and then we give an observation that anyone can verify to see that it is a symmetry. And then we're just going through and building a network of concepts and trying to make sure that we're always building the symmetries to build an algebraic structure. That is what we're doing.